Well, have you been struggling to get an Uber or Lyft lately? You're not alone. Since the pandemic started, rideshare drivers have been scarce. Local 5's Rachel Droz looks into this and why some are worried it could lead to more people driving under the influence. It may not look like it today, but warm weather is coming. And with more people getting vaccinated, bars and restaurants will likely start filling up soon. But if you're planning to grab an Uber or Lyft home after having a few drinks, you may want to have a backup plan. It's because if there are no Ubers, people are going to have to figure out a way to get home one way or another. Allison Dornboss says last weekend she looked for an Uber home from an outdoor brewery for about an hour, but had no luck. So just ended up, you know, having to call a friend who luckily wasn't drinking that night, so she could give me a ride. But if she wasn't available, I don't really know what I would have done. Stories like this are becoming more and more common. Rideshare data from the Des Moines International Airport shows pickups from the airport plummeted last year. Uber came to Des Moines in 2014. That same year, you start seeing less people lose their licenses after driving under the influence. The benefit of having those rideshare programs available um, is, is obvious. The, the number of OWIs is going to go down. I mean, the safety piece. Sergeant Paul Parizic says if you're going to have a few drinks at a bar or at a friend's house, plan ahead, designate a driver, use a taxi service, or schedule an Uber or Lyft in advance. In Des Moines, Rachel Droves, Local 5 News, We're Iowa.